This tutorial is on the AutoCAD graphical user interface, or the GUI. That's what we see on screen once we've opened the program. The first thing we'll take a look at is the application menu. That's the red letter A in the upper left hand corner. I'll click this drop down arrow and you'll see I have my basic computer functions here. I can start a new AutoCAD drawing. I can open an existing AutoCAD drawing. I have my save functions here. Uh, save as which allows us to give a drawing file a name and store it to a known location and my save for periodically saving my work as I go and here we can print or you'll hear it for, referred to as plot our work. In this area right next to the application menu we have some quick launch icons. You'll notice that these perform the same things as what we saw in the application menu and this is typical of AutoCAD and many computer programs in that you can you can uh, do the same thing from two or three different areas depending on how your interface is set up. So here you'll see we could start a new drawing, open an existing drawing, here's our save tools and a uh, print icon and you'll see right here an important one is the undo button and what that allows you to uh, do is if you draw something and decide that you no longer want that you'd like to return to where you previously were you can click the undo button and it does just as it would describe it undoes your last uh, move this black area here is what we'd refer to as our model space drawing area and we get to that by clicking on this tab in the lower left hand corner. This tab above the drawing uh, represents this, the, our current drawing session and you'll see that I've titled it using the save as command uh, example one. You'll also see this reflected up here in the address bar and you can see that it gives us the name example1.dwg with .dwg being the text extension for an AutoCAD drawing file and as well it gives us the complete path or address to where this file example1 is stored when we did our save as. So an important piece of information there. Located right below this across the top of our interface is what we would refer to as the ribbon. The ribbon contains all of our our tools and different functions that we can perform. You'll see that there's a series of tabs across the top and depending on which one I click on you'll see that it changes the content on the ribbon. The first one that we'll be using is the home tab setting our our home ribbon here and you'll see it's divided into individual areas that we'd refer to as panels. This would be our draw panel, our modify panel, and so on. Uh, the draw panel and the modify panel are the two that I would refer to as the fundamental tools and the ones that we'll, we'll uh, first be taking a look at. And you'll see an annotation panel, annotation being to uh, add notation to a drawing, text, dimensions, and things like that. You'll see there's tools for those functions right here and so on down the line. A really important part of the AutoCAD user interface is the command prompt. This area here down at the bottom and what the command prompt is you could think of it like the running instructions for uh, AutoCAD. For instance I'll start a line command and you'll see that now at the command prompt it says line specify first point so it's it's always telling me what what the next thing I need to do is at the command prompt here and a habit that you want to get into right right away is to always be reading your command prompt because again it's the running instructions if you if you're reading the command prompt as you're you're working your success rate is going to be a lot higher than if you're not Right below here, again, I pointed out the model tab, which makes our model space drafting area current. 
And next to that, you'll see we have a layout tab. Brings us to uh, one of our sheet layouts. This is where we would set up what our sheet will look like when we print our work. So it's the layout tab, model tab. Uh, again, model space is where we do all of our drafting. And something to note is that we always draft at a scale of one to one, meaning we draw things full size. If I want something that's 10 feet long, I draw it 10 feet long, and then we scale it down when we set up our, our print or our plot over in layout here. This is where we would set the scale. So we draw full size here, and we uh, set the scale to be printed over here on our layout tabs. Over to the right here, we have uh, some tools. You see we have a pan tool. We have some zoom functions here. Uh, this is a good time to point out something that's related to the user interface, and that's the use of the mouse. Uh, we have a left button. Uh, that would be a left click, or if I was to say I'll click on this, that would be referring to the left mouse button. I have a right mouse button, and when I click that in AutoCAD, that uh, will bring up a shortcut menu. And you'll see there's uh, several functions on here. The thing about the shortcut menus in AutoCAD is they are intuitive, meaning the content on them will be related to whatever it is that you're currently doing. So there's a saying that says, when in doubt, right click, and what you're looking for will more than likely be found there. That'll really help you out when you're just getting started. And down here in the right lower right hand corner, we have what we call the tool tray and these are all things that we'll look at in upcoming lessons the functionality but it's important to know that if I say go to the tool tray this is the area I'm referring to uh, the functions down here when I when they're when I click on them you can see that it turns from light gray to blue when it's blue that means the function is turned on or it's active when I click it and it's grayed out, that means it's no longer active. And you'll see here that like most things in the AutoCAD interface, if I hover my cursor over them, it uh, brings up a tip that, that tells me what it is. And this is really helpful to you when you're just starting out. Uh, the tools are the same way. If I hover over one of these tools, it brings up, it brings up the tool tip and then a nice little example window showing you you know how to how to use that particular tool so you'll definitely want to make use of these as you're starting out and another related item to that is this uh, question mark up here in the upper right hand corner that's the auto AutoCAD help menus and these are something you want to get in the habit and get familiar with using right off the bat as AutoCAD goes to great lengths to uh, create some really good uh, help menus, help help uh, you know functions. Uh, there's basically an entire education underneath of that little question mark. For instance, I could go over here and say I wanted to know about a line command. I could type that in the uh, search field and here we go it brings up you know all the information about working with with lines inside of AutoCAD so again just uh, each time you sit down when you need a break from actually drafting just spend some time in this area here and start getting familiar with what's here because like I said there's an entire education underneath that icon and it also helps you to be able to answer your own questions which is it's really important when you're away from the classroom and when you're when you're learning even as well when you're on the job there's many times you need to uh, be able to answer your own questions and up here in the upper right hand corner we have the standard windows buttons we have the minimize minus sign if I click that it uh, minimizes the program down to the taskbar that allows me to drop the AutoCAD program out of my way so that maybe I wanted to work with some other programs temporarily and then when I want to come back to AutoCAD I simply left click it on the toolbar and it pops right back up 
That allows me to get the program out of the way to free up my desktop for other work without having to close it and save my work. And then when I want to go back to it, you know, go through the whole process of reopening my work. So that's definitely a habit to instill in yourself. In the middle, we have our restore down, maximize button. That allows us, that'll uh, drop AutoCAD into a sizable window where I can stretch it around, change the size of a window. Again, this is a standard Windows feature. You can do this in any program. I can hold down my left click mouse button and I can drag it around and position it. This is something we would do if we were working with multiple programs or documents on our screen. And I'll re-click the maximize button and that uh, sends the program up to the full size of the screen. And as typical with all Windows programs, we have a red X or an X up here in the upper right hand corner, and that closes the program. And something to note is that when you close the program, it will prompt you to save your changes at that point. So if you want to keep your work, you would go ahead and click yes and save your changes. And as you can see here, I have the taskbar visible at the bottom of my screen uh, different programs that I have minimized down to the taskbar and here's my Windows start menu always available allows you to get to different programs and functions of Windows and of course you can see uh, this is my crosshair my cursor my crosshairs is the X on screen I'm going to draw a circle uh, I pointed out that we had a pan tool here brings up this hand and I hold down the left mouse button that allows me to move or pan the work around on screen and there are some zoom tools you can click on those and you'll start to see how they function zoom all was the one I just used what we have on our scroll on our mouse is a scroll wheel in the center and that allows me to do, perform three functions one is to zoom my work by rolling the scroll wheel forward it zooms out by rolling it backwards it zooms in and a thing to note is that wherever my crosshairs are that's going to be the center of my zoom right now you'll see my crosshairs are centered on the circle and this is the behavior you get when i roll the scroll wheel if i were to position my crosshairs say off to the left i get a much different effect when i roll that that scroll wheel to zoom and by holding the scroll wheel down that allows me to pan my work around on the screen to reposition it to uh, make it easier to work on things that's the main use or reason that we we use the panning and zooming is to reposition our work and get zoomed in so that it's easy to work on things instead of with it really far out and then trying to pick on things when they're they're so small zoomed out you always want to get zoomed in and position your work so that it's it's uh, much easier for you to work on and those are the basics of the user interface I would suggest watching this tutorial a couple of times uh, you want to get as familiar as you possibly can with the interface and good luck